Hello and welcome back to Von Miller's and Plays Biomenace. We have just entered Master Kane. Now I notice there's an evil, evil snake up there waiting for me. We have nothing in the elevator. I have no good gun. That snake is going to shoot the moment I move to the right. Oh, I thought he was. Ah, Snake Logan. You have proved most troublesome to me. And for that, I shall make sure that you die a most painful death. I don't know how you've survived all of the traps they've laid out for you. Trust me, it wasn't fucking easy. But you'll not be escaping from me. I have been waiting a long time for this moment. And I'm going to enjoy very much getting rid of you once and for all. There will be nothing left to stand in my way. Now... We shall see just how good your fighting skills really are. Ah! Ha 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 Okay, well I don't have any gun, and he just murdered me immediately. Oh, and turned into some kind of flame dude that is still chasing me. There's an elevator here. I think I want to get on this elevator. Ow. 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 Okay, there's a snake over here. Okay, I'm still just exploring. I'll definitely be reloading. Okay, I can duck under those shots. Oh, and he can duck as well. That's interesting. Is he the first enemy that we've seen that can duck? Wow, okay. It's kind of problematic getting to that elevator. cheese him all the way from here? No, I don't think my shots are reaching him. But if I got closer, I might be able to. Okay, we're getting down to a low number of lives, so I'm going to reload. He's shooting- oh, he I must have shot him, and so he's shooting already. That's unfair. We never even got the, uh, the intro speech wrong. And actually, the intro speech was uh, was handy for kind of getting up close to him without him totally murdering us. So let me. Uh, no, he's starting off shooting us now. Uh, that's kind of weird because I'm loading the save game. Yeah, he's already shooting now. Must be a must be a bug if you've triggered the conversation. While the game has been loaded, then it starts all firing. Okay, well, I am having a very, very. Oh, okay, he's in his blue guy mode again, so maybe I can get on this elevator now. Please let there be stuff up here. Okay, there wasn't really anything terribly useful up there. Oh, there's another elevator. Ah, and snakes. Hmm, this is problematic. Too bad when I can see him if my D-pad would be would behave itself. Because when I can see him, then I can at least predict whether he's gonna shoot high or shoot low. Okay, he's flying again. I wonder if it'd be worthwhile just trying to cheese him. Oh god. be able to just cheese him like this. Okay, he's gone into blue man group mode again. Uh, don't touch me. Oh god, I didn't want to get on the elevator. Ow. Okay, and he straight up murdered me. 
That would take a very long time, but it would work, I suspect. Oh god. Ow. My face. But he's in blue man. Ah, crap. That was careless of me. Oh god. And again. Oh, at least he's right here at the start now. Okay, he's nearly dead. I only have one life left, but... If I kill him, I suspect I may not need more than that. If I move carefully and avoid all the crappy snakes and stuff that are over to the right. Okay. He exploded into a flaming pile and I got some variety of crystal shard, I think. Yes, I have one blue shard. So let me proceed cautiously to the right. Get that gem. He didn't say anything when he died, that's kind of lame. Don't you dare kill me, snake. Okay, I'm on my zero life now. I cannot die. That would suck so much. Okay, that snake is now dead. What have we got up here? Another point gem. Okay, I killed something. Okay, we've reached a ladder. Ooh, there's stuff here. Oh god, there's monsters here. Okay, I'm taking that health kit. Okay, we have lots of gun and grenades. And back up to full health. Which is fine. I don't care about the guys that disappeared off to the side. Okay, that's interesting. Point gems and the exit. Snake carefully walks over to the still body of Kane, but as he approaches, he hears muffled sounds coming from under the metal faceplate and robotic armor of Master Kane. Help! Get, get me out of here! Snake grabs Kane by the collar and pulls a mask from his face. Snake gasps with surprise. Agent Carmichael? Yes, remember me from Operation Swamp Dog? Uh, no. But let's pretend I do. Uh, even the agency deserted me. I, I swore I'd get revenge if it was the last thing I did. No. No. We thought you had surely been killed by the KGB. We lost contact. I had search and rescue circling the pickup site for longer than was safe. But even if we had deserted you, why did you have to kill all those innocent people? You are insane, Carmichael. And you're coming back with me. I, I think not, Mr. Logan. You hear that beeping sound? That is my armor suit, and I have initiated the auto-destruct sequence. No, you are going with me, Snake Logan. Straight to hell! Without another word, Snake turns and runs as fast as he can. Snake dives over an embankment just in the nick of time. Agent Carmichael's suit explodes with blinding fury, destroying everything around him. When the smoke clears, Snake stands up and dusts himself off. Finally. It's over, and Agent Carmichael will not be a threat to this Earth ever again. The supercomputers in the lab having all been destroyed or shut down, the mutant production has uh, been cut to a halt. Snake has succeeded, and we are all safe again. For now. And I finally get to put my name in the high score table. Good lord. Von Milhausen. In... Ta-da! And that, I believe, is the end. Yeah, that is it. So, that has been... <sighs> Will it not ever do this for me? I'm just trying to show the bloody screen. 
Why, why does this game hate me so much? Come on. Return to demo. There we go. That has been Biomenace. And this specifically has been episode 3, Master Kane. Now this music's awful, so I'm going to go back to the main menu. Right. That is the end of Biomenace. Um, I haven't really kind of prepared anything uh, for the end of this game. Uh, but generally, it was okay. Episode 1 was definitely the best. I think I had the best balance of... Um, like gameplay and kind of like sneaky stuff, but it wasn't like, it wasn't being vicious. It wasn't being kind of, oh, you have to walk down this corridor and you're going to get hurt. You better hope that you've got plenty of lives kind of thing, you know? This last episode had a lot of that in it and it just wasn't as much fun. But the first episode was a lot of fun. Um, this was very much an Apogee style kind of platform game. Um, different vibe now to like Duke Nukem or something like that um, but it definitely had that kind of apogee kind of feel to it and this whole kind of main menu system is is very apogee uh, when we get around to like the Commander Keen games you'll see this whole kind of menu system again um, yeah there was a, a good variety of enemies there was a relatively decent variety of kind of level types kind of interior bases and kind of exterior kind of forests and kind of ruined city kind of stuff um wasn't that many weapons in the game that you could kind of go for there was like two types of grenades and there was, was it like your regular gun the the machine gun with 90 bullets and the plasma bolt with the 20 shots um but yeah it was it was okay not my favorite apogee platform game ever but wasn't bad. So, the time has come where we must give Biomenace a ranking. As you might have seen at the very end of my Tomb Raider Let's Play, rather than giving Tomb Raider a score out of 10, I decided to rank it relative to the other games that I'd played. Uh, so I was just using a very temporary system to do that the last time. In the meantime, I have put together this more professional version of my relative ranking uh, engine. So the question is, did I enjoy Biomenace more than or less than Grand Theft Auto 4? I would have to say on the whole, less than. If the game had started off like it did in episode one of Biomenace and had gotten better, in episodes two and three then it might be a different answer to this question but i found that um over time like episode two wasn't as good as episode one and episode three was just painful to get through um so not a bad game but just the the level design choices and stuff in the in the third episode were just punishing in a way that i just didn't find enjoyable so I will say I enjoyed Biomenace less than I enjoyed Grand Theft Auto. Did you enjoy Biomenace more than or less than Tomb Raider? Hmm. That's a toughie. Um, episode 1 of Biomenace more than for sure. Uh, it just had like a kind of a pick up and play kind of quality, uh, kind of in the same way that Dangerous Dave did. Um, that Tomb Raider just doesn't have. But the last episode, less than. Eesh. Okay, whichever way I pick, these are going to be close, but I'm going to say uh, less than Tomb Raider. Did you enjoy Biomenace more than or less than Call of Duty 4 Modern Warfare? Uh, yeah, as you might have seen, I didn't really enjoy playing through Call of Duty 4 Modern Warfare again. It was great back in the day when it came out, loved it back then, but I don't think it stood the test of time. So I'm going to say I enjoyed Biomenace more than I enjoyed Call of Duty 4 Modern Warfare. And that is it. So let's see our rankings. Here we go. Okay, so... The best ranked game that I've played so far is Dangerous Dave Goes Nuts, followed by Grand Theft Auto 4, 
followed by Tomb Raider, followed by Biomenace, and then bringing up the rear is uh, Call of Duty 4 Modern Warfare. So, once again, thank you very much for watching, and I will see you in my next Let's Play!